ATYR down 80%. This is Monday, the 15th of September, 2025. Um, I believe uh, the company disclosed some disappointing um, outcomes. Atire Pharma said on Monday, September 15th, that its experimental drug had failed to meet the main goal in a late stage study testing it in patients with a type of lung disease known as pulmonary sarcoidosis, which impacts the lungs and lymph nodes. The late stage trial, which enrolled 268 patients, aimed to show a bigger cut in daily steroid use after 48 weeks versus a placebo. Patients on the higher five milligrams per kilogram dose of the drug reduced use of steroids to an average of 2.79 milligrams per kilogram a day compared with 3.52 milligrams per kilogram on placebo, a difference that was not statistically significant. A Tire Pharma said it will meet with U.S. Food and Drug Administration officials to discuss the next steps for its drug, F. Sophie Timod. It said the drug's safety profile was consistent with earlier studies. Pulmonary sarcoidosis is a condition that causes small clumps of inflammatory cells called granulomas to form in the lungs. These can cause symptoms such as coughing, shortness of breath, and fatigue. The cause of the disease is unknown. Approved treatments for pulmonary sarcoidosis include corticosteroids like prednisone, which are used as the first line of therapy. For patients who do not respond or cannot tolerate steroids, Second-line options, such as methotrexate and azathioprine, are commonly prescribed. Okay, so regardless, I think uh, on the line trend is still bullish. I think so, given this is still uh, strongly bullish, even with um, all that is going on right now. But um, it's not good news for those who have been buying, especially those who bought um, of late. Uh, it's uh, this, as, this, as, not, as a matter of fact... Those who bought, uh, well, you have to be, you have to be, like, we have to go all the way back. And I, I'm sure that not, there are not very many people. Yeah, we're talking about all the way back when it was, well, current price is 1.9. So uh, not good at all. Yeah. Well, let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. Um, lower prices are expected to keep printing out all the way towards Wednesday, the 17th. And uh, a bounce is expected that may be rejected by what, Thursday the 18th. However, it's just it's saying that by Wednesday the 24th, um, a recovery might happen. I mean, not that um, any, not not that uh, you may be interested in that. Yeah, the price pressure momentum severely bearish. Okay, yeah, severely bearish on this um, ten day on the on this daily chart. However, some of the on the ten-day moving average, the derivatives are still positive, indicating that maybe it has um, it's not uh, printing any. The the, the weakness has uh, stopped. Yeah, it may have printed the bottom. Yeah, given this intraday low of zero point nine five, the stock has actually recovered. Maybe, uh, maybe that that may this may be bought the bottom one point one five. You know, may or may not be. You know, um, yeah, quite disappointing, but it's not, um, what the problem is, it's not uh, totally, it's just that um, expectations, the, the, what does it say here? It says, um, patients on, uh, let's see, yeah, the stage, the late stage trial, which enrolled 260 patients, aimed to show a bigger cut, okay, and didn't show that, unfortunately, didn't show that, yeah, yeah. Um, well, let's just see how the how things how things are gonna turn out. Let's see what's going on. Um, okay, it's actually recovering, yes, slightly, slightly recovering. Not that it's uh, that much. We're trying to see how, what uh, people are uh, placing, how they're trading, how they're investing right now, given what's going on. Um, let's see. We we'll have to close this. It's affecting the memory. And let's see. Let's try and see again. Let's have a look again. 
we should be able to see something. Okay, yeah, memory is low, but uh, we can try and st we can try and still see whether we can see anything here. Let's see. Um, any other opinion? Other opinions shared? Let's see. Ultimately, while the primary endpoint end endpoint was missed, we do not hit, believe the door is shot. Up. Okay, so that's on positive. With the potential green light for field fighting for another regulatory engagement according to Pi by side. Okay, yeah. So Pi by Sandler saying, yeah, it's not it doesn't look like the end. Okay. While the primary endpoint was missed, they do not um, believe the door is shut for for the drug in pulmonary sarcoidosis with a potential green light for filing after regulatory engagement. Okay, let's see whether there are other of the opinions let's see Let's see, okay, maybe not. Okay, there isn't any other any other thing, but in the coming days we might be able to find something. Let's see what we have. Okay, we could have a look at the four hour chart to see what's going on there. In the four hour charts, lower prices are expected to remain in place up till the close of today's trading session, and then we might get a bounce by the post market session going into 12 the midday tomorrow, the 16th. And after that, we might uh, decline again. Projections are saying 5.94 upper projection. Let's see uh, what do we have here. It's 5.51. Okay. Setting pressure must be amplified now. Let's see. Yeah, you can see that's very bearish all through nothing. Nothing is positive at all. Unlike um, a positive, uh, some positive derivatives on the daily chart. Let's see whether we can find out what's how, how it's trading. Mm, we need something to come up here. Okay, yeah, okay, it's up. It's out. Okay, this is too high. Let's get down to 1.16. ATYR, mm, okay. Okay, people are expecting it to, you can see, that's why I wanted us to have a look here at one point. People are expecting it to put to Bounce to 1.29, 1.27. See, look at that. Okay, see how crazy it is. People are buying as well. You can see the buyers are here. Can see why I really wanted wanted us to have a look at this. People are also hoping to buy at uh, lower prices. One point one four, one point one three, one point two nine is the highest I think we've seen. One point three five, one point four six, one point five eight. Okay, that's the highest so far. Yeah, I, I think it's going to continue to decline. It might, yeah. Before it finds, finds a bounce. Before it, before it finds a bounce. But um, 
the algos are saying that it has found um, a bounce if i has found the bottom so even lower prices down here okay okay so just have a look and uh, see what you make of the stock um i'll continue to update you um yeah let's see we can uh before we go we can try and apply the market grid it gives us a range of prices we can apply the market grid on um it gives us it gives us an idea you know we're, we're seeing this the algos are saying that it's going to print a bottom by uh on this daily chart by wednesday um and bounce um, bounce by um there's going to be a bounce there might be a bounce by thursday mean no guarantee that that will be the case you know this could be totally negated because it's extrapolating all the way towards uh, the next two days it may or may not happen you know but uh, in any case let's just find let's have a look at the range okay let's have a look at the 45 minutes yeah okay here we can see it has uh, reacted so let's see what we have 1.41 so the current current price is at 1.17 so it's uh it has upper projections it says it can trade between 1.41 and 0 0.9567 which is reflecting what has happened now it has printed it printed uh, 0 0.9567 0 0.95 exactly so let's see what do we have what we have on the daily chart on the one hour chart rather okay same as well 1.57 okay it has it has um, a wider range 1.5 between 1.57 1.57 and 0 0.56 Upper projection here says uh, 5.9 or thereabouts. Let's see if uh, the two hour chart has reacted. Yeah, it has reacted. Let's see what it has. Yeah, the rupee, okay, wider, even wider, even negative zero points. So let's just take um, 0 0.25 and 2.13 volatility is expected we have a bounce here that is uh saying up to one point yeah something close to that this is this is by two by some by some at some point in this in this uh, trade trading session has the three hour chart reacted i doubt it it has reacted yeah here we have uh even wide as well between 0 0.522 and uh, 3.37 here it's saying a bounce is, is imminent by uh, the close of today's trading session and then it may be rejected by tomorrow's uh tomorrow's uh post market session i really doubt if the four hour chart has reacted mm no it has not reacted yeah okay just have a look and see what you make of um, ATYR and uh, thank you very much for watching this video